What's going on guys? It's Nate for you and today we'll be talking about goal setting and how important it is to set goals when you're just in general and like if you want to be more specific like for your treatment or you're just wanting to get better at something or you want something to change. Sorry dog, my hair's all over the place. It's gone for work, but yeah dogs, so let's get right into it. An important aspect of treatment is to identify what your goals are and what are things that are important to you and that you value that you could work on. While broad categories may come to mind, for example, like relationships, family relationships, work, if you want to like, let's say you want to start a business or like you want to like start working out or Anything like that, you can set goals. You can either, like, what I do is I keep them in my head, but it's, everyone's different. So, like, some people like to write it down. Whatever works for you guys. And however you can either check it off or you can be like, yeah, I did that. So, you can make, like, what I like to do is I like to make, like, a short-term one, then a long-term one. Just so I can, like, see the process a little bit and work on it slowly, if that makes sense. People tend to be more successful in making change when their goals have specific characteristics. A good goal for treatment will have five characteristics. It's SMART. It's going to be a SMART lettering, whatever you want to call it. So S is for specific. M is for measurable. Three is for appealing. Four is for realistic, and five is for time bound. Uh, specific it is important that the goal is clearly described in detail what you will do or what you want to do. A goal is too general, then how will you know for sure whether you have accomplished it? So, kind of like zone in on something. For example, a goal of to get along better with my spouse may be too general. Whereas a specific initial goal may be to ask my spouse about his or her daily events, like how their day was and stuff like that. Good to communicate with anyone in your life, whoever you hold special, or maybe you don't have anyone or stuff like that. Just work, work on yourself. If you don't have no one, I'm here for you guys if you need me, but... I love y'all. I make these contents for you guys. And second one is measurable. It's important that you are able to measure your progress towards meeting your goal and how you know when you're like working towards it or gonna accomplish it. Uh, for example, to ask my spouse about his daily, every everyday life, one could easily measure how often over the previous week the individual asked her spouse about his day or her day appealing another important aspect of goal setting is to identify goals that are appealing to you if the goal is desirable then why would you work towards it if not uncommon for people to set goals that other people want for them but they don't really desire for themselves it's no surprise then that they may struggle to work towards these goals. Think about whether your goal is something that you value and desire and not something that someone else may want for you. So it's really important to just work on yourself when you have like, you're in like a dire situation or like you're just like having a hard time. Just work on yourself and make goals for yourself, whether it be you want to like cut out cigarettes, whether you want to like go to the gym, let's say maybe you want to be better with your spouse, more communicated or I don't, I don't know, dog. like just trying to give examples, but just zone in on what you want and work your hardest. Anything is possible if you put your mind to it. I love you guys. A realistic, a goal should be realistic and achievable. Is the goal reasonable to work towards in the time frame you have in mind? 
Is it something that is within reach while also not too easy? For example, if I had not exercised in several months, a goal of running a marathon and finishing in the top 50% tomorrow may not be realistic. However, this person could set goals to like start running like say like 30 minutes a day or like an hour a day or three times a week or some, something like that just to get like build up to the marathon. It's important that you have control over the outcome. Therefore, a goal of my mother never criticize me may not be realistic. Instead, you can set a goal to assertively talk with your mother about the impact her criticism has on you and let her know that you would like it to change. Yeah, just be realistic to yourself or in your goals. Like, don't, like, I know it's going to be hard at first, like, especially if you're, like, for example, like, trying to quit cigarettes or trying to, like, get away from drug addiction, like you maybe you're a heroin addict or a meth addict or a coke addict or something like that. Maybe you're in the drugs or you drink a lot maybe. Maybe you want to cut down on drinking maybe. There's always help for any situation. It might not seem like it sometimes, but there are people here to help you. I, I usually try to put down below like helpful like websites or stuff like that, depending on what I am like help with or you guys want help with. Time bound. A good goal should have a clear start and finish. What is the time frame for meeting your goal? We generally recommend setting some short term that you can work towards right away, but you also have a long term goal like for example, they give running a marathon. Like, you're not just going to run a marathon overnight unless you're like Flash or something. You know what I'm saying? But if you like gradually work towards it, like you really want some, go for it, dogs. You're the only one stopping yourself from doing what you want to do. Fuck everyone else and just do what you want to do. All right, dogs? I love y'all. I love y'all. For real. I want... Nothing but the best for you guys. Often people want to set goals such as to feel better or to be less depressed. While these are understandable goals, they are not specific and realistic in that they are directly under your control in this moment. Instead of setting goals to feel a certain way, consider setting specific measurable goals of what you will do behaviorally to try to feel the way you want when setting goals it can also be helpful to determine some many steps that may be necessary to meet the goals try to use this format anytime you set a goal whether it is a treatment goal or something else so what we learned is use the smart goal setting list if that you don't have to use this if you don't want to. I'm just giving you guys options so you guys can like set goals for yourself. Like let's say you want like to smoke, to quit smoking or like get away from drugs or maybe you're like in like abusive relationship or I don't know, dogs. Like anything. It could be anything, dogs. So just you you don't have to write it down. If you're like uh what I do is I keep it in my head, then I can just pinpoint it in there. But I usually, what I like to do is I like to make like a short term and long term goal and make like for the short term goals, I like to um, have like a few of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's say like, for example, I'm trying to get like starting work from home for so I can bring out more content for you guys so my goal is to start work from home like next year sometime so i'm really like i'm trying to boost my channel i'm trying to do all that guys i could be here for you guys more and if you guys want to like see anything specific on this channel or any of my other channels just let me know down below in the comment section and I will, I will hit you or I will talk with you 
I, I do read all the comments. It might take me a little bit, but I do read all the comments. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Even the hateful comments. I appreciate you guys. You guys make this possible, dogs. Without you, I'm just a weirdo. McCordon to no bun. I am McCordon to someone. You know what I'm saying? Alright, dogs. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, turn your post notifications so you never miss out. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe. Love y'all.